Fun fact for you guys, I actually never attended to prom, neither do I had a bat mitzvah, or neither do I actually got married, you know, in just like a very normal way, because my wedding actually got cancelled, as most of you know, but today I'm actually doing this really gorgeous dress, I don't want to show it to you guys, you know, just yet, but wait, <laughs> that's why we're going to be doing this video, you know, so yeah, so today we're doing this DIY prom dress for only, you guessed it, 50 bucks because anybody got time for this $10,000 dress. This dress is absolutely inspired by Berta Bridal. I've seen this dress back in 2017 and I was like, oh my gosh. Now, even though this is not an actual bridal gown, it's actually an evening gown, I saw that she is now making it in white as well for the bridals and everything. So I was like, okay, this dress I do need to wear it, but it's kind of like 10k, so maybe I should consider of doing it myself. So today is the day when I'm doing this $10,000 dress on a budget. So without further ado, let's just move into the video. So a few weeks ago I asked you guys what color would you be wearing to prom if you would attend and all of you said pink. So here I am looking for a plunge dress, you know, on aliexpress.com so that, you know, I can get something very, very cheap, just like this one for $12. $14 and obviously they have a lot of colors as you guys can see so I went ahead and I chose the pink one in the size medium Four to six weeks later as you guys can see this is a juicy approved dress and this is all the matters so that's what we're gonna be working with today <laughs> But other than that, I mean, the dress is really, really pretty. I'm obsessed with the color, but there is only one thing that we might gonna be having an issue with, and it's actually the bottom part, as you guys can see. It's not as fluffy as I thought it would be, but then again, there's always, you know, the internet vs reality, and I guess that today we're gonna be working with reality, which is this thing right over here. I mean, the dress is really pretty, but I'm gonna have to see how can I make it more fluffier. So to make the dress more fluffy, we basically gonna be needing a lot more fabric so I went ahead and I bought 15 yards of tulle the reason I did that is because tulle is very very affordable it's like one dollar for one yard so it's kind of like you know it's very affordable it's very cheap and yeah and so from here basically all I did I kind of started to take a very long pieces of the tulle and just like kind of sewing it on the top part I guess this is the best way that I can describe it and pretty much just attach it to the bottom part of the dress just so that to give it you know like a little bit more body and a little bit more volume as well so that it looks puffy and fluffy and all this kind of jazz and so from here I kind of took it and I put it on the door so that I will have you know a better space to work on I guess and pretty much you can see now the left side is much more fluffier than the right side. Oh my god, you guys are not ready to see this dress. Look at this, how pretty it came out. I'm absolutely shook. I cannot believe that I did it myself, honestly. I kind of expected that to be, you know, like a failure because I couldn't believe that the tool will match. But as you guys can see, it matches perfectly because obviously the upper top is darker than the part on the bottom. And I mean, look at how pretty it honestly looks like those Dior kind of dresses, like the runway, you know, with the tool and all this kind of jazz. Dior, here I come! And uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, other than that, I'm gonna cut this part right over here so that we can have, you know, like a leg moment, like such a cute one. And yeah, after that, we're gonna be moving to this part right over here, which is the fun part. So stay tuned. So for the top part, we're obviously gonna be needing a lot of bling. So I went ahead and I purchased this on Amazon. But as you can see, it doesn't have so much bling. It actually has some sequins in it and all this kind of jazz but also on her dress she kind of have a lot of sequins and it's not all you know like stones and stuff like that but anyways if you guys want you can go ahead and add your own crystals just like I did over here other than that it's super cute and super affordable because most of these items can go anywhere between like 200 to 400 dollars and this is just not a vibe so anyways I'm gonna be you know continuing to bling it schmabling it myself I guess <laughs> 
So we're back on the floor and as you can see the applique looks so so good and actually this makes me really happy right now because on the actual dress her stones is kind of like going almost like all the way down through the tool. So this is going to make my job so so easy because the applique is kind of like long and it's not short and only like for the top part. So this is really great. I'm assuming that this is like for a bodysuit maybe but I don't really care because it's going to look really perfect on the dress and that's what's matter. So now all I'm gonna be doing, I'm just gonna cut the trim to the fabric, you know, so that it matches and everything looks good and we don't have any access left so that we don't have a lot of work because let me tell you, this was a lot of work, you guys. It, it took me hours to sew it in. And then last but not least, we're gonna be moving to the fun part, which is a hand sewing. No, I'm kidding you guys, this is really wasn't any fun because it took me a lot of hours. But basically, as you can see, you're gonna take some pins, you're gonna pin the applique down to the fabric, and all you're gonna be doing is just gonna hand stitch it one by one, you know, over under, over under, and there it is, ready to go. Oh my God, you guys, oh my God, you guys see that? This is so, so pretty. I honestly cannot believe I made it myself. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna wear it right now and hopefully that I can still take pictures because it's literally 5.30 p.m. So wish me luck and I'm gonna be seeing you guys in, yeah, in a second. So a little TMI, I am dying to go to the bathroom, but I can't. Also, excuse the mess in the background, this is the only one room in the house that will never ever be organized. But other than that, I mean, do you guys see that? Look at this leg moment or whatever. And uh, yeah, actually, I do feel like I'm in a fairy tale and I kind of regret that I'm not going to prom. So if any of you, you know, wants to invite me, hi, I do have a dress. <laughs> Um, other than that, you guys, I do think that obviously I'm going to be doing a giveaway on that dress because clearly I have nowhere to wear it. So the dress itself is size medium. It is really big on me in the back. You see, I can actually take that in my hand like that. So just so you guys know that. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking maybe we should do a giveaway. If you guys want me to do a giveaway, then please let me know in the comment section below. Also, let's make sure we give this video a thousand likes at least. And other than that, you guys, if you guys like this video, then please don't forget to give the big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below here. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!